Salsa is excited. And it's looking like it might be a Christmas miracle. Sort of. It's going to be very, very cold, but it did snow. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Thank you, everyone, for all the wonderful gifts this year. This will be uh, the mail day video for the Christmas season. I will probably do one more on New Year's or New Year's Eve. I have probably about 30 letters. You guys really shocked me with how many letters you guys sent. So I have a bunch of letters here. I have some packages. I don't have any other packages right now, but I'm expecting probably because of the Christmas and the holiday delay, maybe some packages might show up next week. Um, and then I'll do a mail day with packages and letters for probably next Saturday. But Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Let's jump into it. If anyone out there wants to send anything to my P.O. Box, my information is in the description below. It's the only thing that is in the description below. Uh, but let's jump into it. So if you guys included a, uh, a GIF of your letter, I'll definitely read the whole letter on camera. If you guys included... If you guys included a letter, I'll definitely read it off camera. Uh, otherwise, this video will end up being a very, very long video because I have quite the abundance of things to open. But Brian and Mary, Minnesota, thank you for your letter, your Christmas letter. Melba and Bucky from Michigan. Bob and Margaret out of Minnesota, Rochester, Minnesota. Amber S. from Georgia. Mr. John G. from Florida and Cynthia, Cynthia D. from Jacksonville, Florida. So thank you everyone out there who sent uh, letters for the Christmas season. Like I said, we'll read them off camera. I'll spend some time with Salsa and we'll sit down and read them. Uh, jumping into kind of the packages as well as the letters. Uh, we'll knock these out here first. Uh, the first one is from our good friends Frank and Rita A. This was actually sent in November. I think there was another letter I picked up either today or yesterday. That is now in the next pile. Uh, this is from Michigan from Frank and Rita, just a spot check. Very cool little dog one there. And they included a monetary gift of $10, so thank you for that. I uh, hope you're having a great fall season. Happy Thanksgiving to you and Salsa Dog. Peace, love Frank and Rita. So this is actually from Thanksgiving. Uh, I guess I must have totally missed it in the last couple packages. I know I did have something stored away for the past couple months. Um, but thank you. Thank you, too, for this. And like I said, I think I did see another letter pop in yesterday, uh, so it's on the pile for next week. But thank you for the monetary gift, and hopefully uh, everything went well with you there this year. And Merry Christmas. Thank you. Over here, we have one from Charles H. in Beaver, Pennsylvania. It's a great photo. <laughs> Nice little golden retriever there. And we have another monetary gift here, taco and salsa. Thank you for all of your entertaining and informative videos this year. I look forward to each one. Have a coffee and donut on me. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Charles H. So thank you, Charles. Thank you for the wonderful letter. Love the golden retriever letter as well. Uh, greatly appreciate that. And thank you as well for the monetary gift of $10. I will definitely go pick up an iced coffee and probably a donut. Not tomorrow because I think everything's closed, but definitely this coming up week. Thank you again, and Merry Christmas to you. Happy Holidays. Thank you, Charles H. Thank you. Here we have one from Jeff and Iris S. in Oklahoma. It's a very nice looking letter. It's a very nice looking letter here. It's, uh, it's kind of like a burlap paper. Different. I don't get a lot, a lot of these long letters either. This is a long one. Look at that. It's different as well. Glory to the newborn king. Oh my goodness, it's in the script. All right, well, there's the letter. <laughs> Thank you, you two. Uh, Jeff and Iris from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, just north of Tol Tulsa, Oklahoma. Joyous Christmas to you and others. Well, thank you for the wonderful, wonderful letter. It's a very nice one. I can't really read this cursive. I see a couple letters here, but I'm sure it means well. And then they also include a monetary gift of $10. So thank you too. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you as well. Uh, I don't know if Oklahoma is really, uh, well, I think you guys got snow not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I know you guys probably got hit with the cold front, even as far south as you guys are. Uh, but thank you. Thank you, and uh, Merry Christmas to you, and thank you for the wonderful gift. Greatly appreciate it. This one is from Eddie and Connie G. in Fairmont, West Virginia. It's amazing how far 
the YouTube world travels, I'll be honest. Uh, we got people from Oklahoma, Tennessee, West Virginia. This is one heck of a card. Wow, thanks so much for educational and entertaining videos. Here's to 700. Oh, episode 700. I'm like, <laughs> 700 subscribers, 700,000 subscribers. We aren't, we aren't there just yet. Wow, that's awesome with a golden retriever also in there. It's a very nice looking card. From Eddie and Connie. Wishing you a great 2023. If you guys can kind of see, there's also, well, it's not going to focus, maybe a little bit. There's actually a golden retriever there. That's a great looking card. That's a great looking card. And then they also include a wonderful Dunkin' Donuts gift card. Two Taco from Eddie and Connie, $25 gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. So thank you, you two. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Thank you for the wonderful card. Uh, I'll definitely add it to my collections of very unique looking cards. The thing is awesome. But thank you as well for the Dunkin' Donuts gift card. That's awesome too and uh, greatly appreciate. Here's to 2023 and happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you as well. All right, so I think we got three more letters here. This one is from Lisa H. in Connecticut. Like I said, we're going all across America here. Uh, I didn't see any international packages or anything like that, but yes, we're going all, all the way across America. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Ooh, cash, a little cash monetary gift there. Thank you for another year of entertainment. Much appreciated from Lisa. Lisa and Greg, hugs to salsa from Belly and Winnie or Bella and Winnie. This is directed to Taco and Salsa as well. So Salsa is back here, she's kind of laying down. She'll probably pop up here in a second. Uh, but Belly, or Bella, Winnie, Lisa and Greg, thank you for the wonderful monetary gift of $40. Uh, I've always said everyone out there, you guys do not have to send any sort of cash gifts. Uh, I greatly appreciate just all the support you guys have definitely done. But uh, Lisa and Greg, thank you for the wonderful monetary gift. Merry Christmas to you two. Uh, hopefully everything is going well in Connecticut and you guys didn't get hit too hard with the uh, the past storm. Um, and I know I know that Northeast Mid Atlantic kind of region definitely gets uh, it gets its cold weather. Uh, let's just say that. But thank you you two for a wonderful gift and thank you as well for the wonderful letter. Greatly appreciate. Thank you, you too. Um, stay warm in Connecticut. You're not too far away from me, but stay warm. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Here we have one from Eshelman in Idaho. We're going everywhere. We are going everywhere. Talk about a merry, talk about bright. That is a great card. Now we have a McDonald's gift card here, I should say, uh, from Greg E. Hope what's stuffed inside here makes your Christmas just right. Absolutely. Thank you for McDonald's gift card. I will greatly, uh, definitely use this. Uh, McDonald's is a pretty bad addiction I have, but uh, they make great iced coffees. I gotta say, Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's, great iced coffees. I haven't really, like, I don't really do Starbucks that much. I know somebody was asking me about Starbucks the other day. Um, I don't do Starbucks. There's actually no Starbucks really around here. You kind of have to go a little bit farther, and then the line is, like, through the window. That made no sense, but it made sense to me. Uh, but Greg, thank you for the wonderful gift. Thank you for the wonderful card and the um, McDonald's gift card. I will be putting this to great use in this upcoming week, if not the following week, but probably most likely, well, not tomorrow, but probably Monday. So thank you for that. Thank you, uh, Greg E., for the wonderful gift. Greatly appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you as well. The last letter of today is addressed to Taco Stacks and Salsa from our good friend Kimberly M. in Florida. Kimberly has always sent me a bunch of really awesome packages throughout the past four to five years. It's been an awesome run. Thank you to all the uh, thank you to all the subscribers, and definitely thank you to everyone out there who's kind of stuck around for the. Uh, uh, the long haul, I should say. Uh, there's definitely been a handful of you that have been here for a, quick, a pretty long time, um, so I greatly appreciate that. And thank you for all the support over the past couple of years. This is addressed to Taco Stacks and Salsa Girl. Thank you for all our amazing 2022 YouTube series. Looking forward to 2023. Love, Kimberly. So thank you, Kimberly. And Kimberly included an Amazon gift card here. Wow. And also a Home Depot gift card. So I know you sent me a Home Depot gift card last time. I actually have, I think, like $2 still left on it. <laughs> uh, it's still in my wallet. Every time I open my wallet, it like kind of pops out because it's orange. Um, but there's an Amazon gift card here and a Home Depot gift card. 
thank you for that. If anyone is actually wondering where I got my um, my golden retriever blow mold, I actually got it from Home Depot. So if anyone out there wants to check your local Home Depot for maybe your own kind of dog, they do have a variety as well as a variety of animals. But Kimberly M, thank you for the wonderful gift cards to Amazon and Home Depot. Greatly appreciate it. And once again, thank you for all the support over the past couple of years. Here's to 2023. Thanks again. Greatly appreciate it. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Also, happy new year. Thank you. All right, jumping into the packages here. We do have like three or four packages. I don't have, I don't think I have any other packages over there. This one is from, well, it looks like someone probably bought this. It says Val Valentine's Sales from Florida. Got a letter. Let's see what the letter says. Oh, it says Peace Jackie. So thank you, Jackie. Thank you for the wonderful gift here. I'm curious what it is. It looks like it's in some sort of wrapping. We will see. Maybe a lump of coal. Probably. Oh, it looks like a coin. Oh, wow. Merry Christmas. It's a Santa Claus coin. 2022 silver coin. Look at that. Look at that coin. That is amazing. For any coin collector out there, it's a GSM coin. It's also dated on the back. If it ever appears. There we go. Man, it's amazing how this thing focuses. 2022. So thank you, Jackie. Thank you for the wonderful silver coin. I know you sent me a silver coin also in the last video, um, but I greatly appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. I think this package, oh, this package is your package. Uh, but thank you again for another wonderful coin to add to collection. Uh, very, very cool. I think uh, probably about, yeah, I, I, have a, I have a decent collection going now with all the silver that I've collected over the past couple of years. Um, Thank you. Thank you for another wonderful gift. I know uh, those silver coins are really awesome. They're very unique and original, and I definitely don't have any Christmas coins. I do have the Donald one from last video, but thank you again for a wonderful, wonderful package. Thank you. Here we have one from Nami in Iowa. I think you are the one who sends me the mysterious items every single time. It sure looks like it. Always love to see what you send here. We have what looks like a very long letter, and it has a windmill on it. Happy holidays, including Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's, and Salsa Day. <laughs> I've never heard of that one, Salsa Day. Uh, this looks like a very personal uh, letter as well, but it says, honestly, you should go back to those Goodwill bins. They're very cool, they're very awesome, and it's crazy what you can find in those boxes. Maybe you're talking about the pallet boxes as well. Man, remember those days, the pallet boxes? Man, those things were awesome. I hope you like the gifts. Next time, take a vacation to Iowa. Your friend, No-No. Not me, No-No. Thank you. You sent me a lot of wonderful things in the past. Very mysterious items. Let's see what you've sent this time. We got a fossil or something. What is this? Oh, now I can't get lost. We have a little compass there. Won't get... What is this? This is, is this a fossil or a gem? I'm not sure. It's a very interesting looking rock. I am not a huge rock person, so I don't know anything about this. Somebody can show me a rock that's worth $5 million, and I'd be like, yeah, it's just a stone, a gem. Or somebody can show me one that's worth 50 cents. I would not know. This thing, I, I, it's something. I don't know what it is. It's ancient. It's probably many years old as well. We have a fake flower. We have a what looks like a cereal ring from like a cereal box with an R on it. I'm not too sure what the R stands for. We have a, a glass marble, Nutra Chomps, Nutra Ear. What in the world is this? Nutra Chomps, Nutra Ear, real chicken and pork skin chew. I've never seen something like that. Best by date, February of 2025. It's an ear, but what is it? Is it an ear of something? I don't know. Blended with real chicken. The more you know, I've never seen that. Boone, Iowa. That's your hometown. <laughs> Boone, Iowa. We also have a Tommy Hilfiger. Oh no, this is a Sports Illustrated for kids. I probably had this as a child at one point. There's no way I didn't. What, 1997? I probably had this one. 
Now it does, it does still have. So these things have, they have cards in them. Oh, they're all like, yeah, they always did this. They did like random things. Like they have Andre Hegesy, like right there in a Rangers uniform and Wayne Gretzky's uniform. Then they have Shaquille O'Neal, but they have Randy Johnson playing basketball. Like that's Randy, that's Randy Johnson on Shaquille O'Neal's body. They got Tiger Woods with Michael Jordan over here. These Sports Illustrated for kids are really different back in the day. Uh, we have some Valentine's assortments. We have a pencil. We have what looks like a Mark McGuire card. I'll add that to my collection. It's almost like a cigarette card, but it's not a cigarette card. We have some other cards in a top sleeve. It's all tacoed. <laughs> I don't know who that is. 2018, the bar pieces of the past. Leroy Neiman. I don't know who Leroy Neiman is. That looks like the back to him. That's your trim for your house and a paint sleeve and a pencil. I didn't mention that. But thank you for a wonderful package. I love when you send me random stuff that I just have no clue what it is. This is very interesting also. Like this Nutri-Chomps threw me for a loop. Um, but very cool. I'm going to sit down and read your brochure also of uh, Boone, Iowa because I don't really know much about Boone, Iowa. But it seems like it's a place you're from and I greatly appreciate the wonderful package. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Salsa Day, Happy Valentine's Day and all the other ones that you've included. Thank you again for a wonderful pack. All right, what we have here is one from Well Tools. That looks like we have more gloves, which I just used the brand new gloves that were sent last week. Um, $14.85, all right, so I don't have these gloves. These are in blue. I've never owned these. It's amazing, I've tried like every single pair now, I feel like, but somehow more and more gloves show up. There is no name, there is no, there's nothing. There's something from Well Tools. I don't think this is from them because they probably would have said something. But whoever sent me this wonderful package of brand new gloves, thank you. It's going to be put to great, great use here. Um, like I said, I just opened up the brand new package. I also used those leather gloves from last video. Um, those are sitting over there drying out. We've been hit with a bunch of snow today and uh, I've been doing a lot of work outside when it was warmer out and now they got wet. Um, so thank you whoever sent these. I'm going to try these out and let you guys know if I like these more or less than the other gloves, but they look exactly like the ones that were the, the original ones that I wore in the summer that were just, I think, black and white. Uh, but whoever sent them, thank you. Greatly appreciate it. You can always use gloves. And now for the final package of the episode. This is from Jackie P in Florida. Let me go ahead and turn on my light here. Hopefully I'm doing something now. I don't know if that shows up on camera. There you go, now I can see it. It's going. Turn it off before I catch on fire. I went to a holiday party the other week. I should have probably wore this. I think it would have been a hit. All right. Thank you, Jackie P, for a wonderful gift. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm sure it's probably great because everything you send is amazing. So let's jump into it. We see a letter on top and I see some more dog treats. I don't know if these, these look exactly like the ones you sent last time. They're still in the jar. I've gone through about half of them in the past week. Thank you for the dog treats. We do have, you guys like my Christmas? Thing. Tablecloth. We do have a letter. It's already going to be a quality letter. I can feel it. Jackie. It's actually great. We have a monetary gift there again. What, is, what does this pull out? Is this like a slot thing? What does that thing do? That's got to go somewhere in here. I don't know what that does. Maybe, let me read the letter. Merry Christmas. I think I found you a real rain jacket. Fingers crossed. Check out the date on the bill. Peace, Jackie. Oh, boy. What's the date on that? 1981. Wow. That is amazing. I briefly remember when $100 bills looked like this in, like, the 90s, and then they kind of, like, changed, like, every three years for some reason. I guess they got too hard to fake. 
Jackie included a wonderful monetary gift of $100. Like always, Jackie, you do not have to send money. You send me enough wonderful gifts. You do not have to send me money. Sauce even says you don't have to send me money, but thank you again for a wonderful, wonderful Christmas gift there. Um, truly amazing. If you know what this is, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm completely missing something here. Unless it's supposed to be like a back, I don't know. This thing's throwing me for a loop. But look at this letter. This is great. It reminds me of the old Coca-Cola bears. You guys know, oh, maybe I should focus it this way. Get the backdrop in there. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? It's a polar bear giving a gift to a penguin or vice versa. <laughs> it's a great, great letter. Always send the best letters out there, Jackie. Thank you again for a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful package, wonderful letter. As always, you don't have to send my thank you again though. We have a jacket here. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. This looks like it's going to be perfect. And more Rangers gear. So this is a New York Rangers, sorry. It's a New York Rangers Stadium Series jacket, 2014. It looks like it will fit. I don't know what size it is. It's a medium. Uh, yeah, this thing's going to fit. Oh yeah, this thing is big for me. Wow, that's amazing. You don't know how crucial it is to have an absolute, like a, a insulated rain jacket is an absolute game changer. Um, I have rain jackets, but they're not insulated and they're just not fun. It's a, uh, if you guys might remember, I went to an auction and it was literally like a hurricane outside and I was so cold because my rain jacket just did not hold up. This should work. Very, very cool rain jacket. Thank you, Jackie, for the wonderful, wonderful gift. Like I said, I will put that to great use. That will be put in a lot of auction videos, especially in rainy auction videos. We have headwear, it says face off, but they're gloves. Some New York Rangers gloves. These are uh, the Stadium Series logo. Very, very cool. Can use those. We have a squirrel here. If only you guys knew my issues with squirrels in my house. It's a dog toy for salsa, but it's a squirrel. That's a great, great gift for salsa. We also have some lovely pairs of socks, which I know you sent socks. I think it was last, last year and I wore them all through winter. Ranger socks, I don't have these, I know that's for sure. Dry socks are great. People don't appreciate that enough. And then we have a New York Rangers backpack, which might be an insulated bag, actually. It is. It's one of those insulated bags. <laughs> so when you go to auctions or to flea market, and salsa gives it a little sniff there, you can have your goodies and they can stay cool throughout the entire day. That is a great invention. And it's like a backpack also. I don't own one of those. So I can bring more than just one bottle of water. <laughs> I could probably bring some snacks and some other things. But Jackie, thank you again for a wonderful package. Thank you again for a wonderful Christmas gift. Uh, truly amazing all the support over the past couple of years also for you. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Hopefully everything went well or is going well. And then New Year's, Happy New Year's to you. And thank you for the wonderful brand new rain jacket. Will keep me, keep me warm as well as keep me dry, hopefully. I'll let you know. Well, you'll see it in videos, uh, definitely on days where it's raining. So, greatly appreciate that. Thank you for a wonderful gift, and Salsa's going to love your toy once we step a, a step away from the, uh, the dinner table. So, thank you for that. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Greatly appreciate it. All right, everyone. So, thank you again for another wonderful, wonderful mail days. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy New Year's as well, if I don't catch you guys next Saturday for the final installment of Mail Day. But uh, it's been amazing. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts this year. And if anyone out there wants to send anything, my PO Box information is in the description below. All you have to do is copy and paste it. I'll catch you guys next time for next adventure. Have a Merry Christmas. Stay safe. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace. <laughs>